Hi everyone, here I am again, Mrs. Simpson, the Lib Granny. Welcome to my living room library. Come on in, sit at my knees, and let's have a story. I'm here with all my usual friends, and today we are really excited because the first book I'm going to share today is called Lost and Found by the wonderful author Oliver Jeffers. Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy and one day he found a penguin at his door. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought maybe it was lost. So, the boy decided to help the penguin find his way home. He checked in at the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. You see, some birds were just like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck simply floated away. He didn't know. And that night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he, the boy, get there? He ran down to the harbor and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was way too small to be heard over the ship's big horn. And if you look closely, boys and girls, you will see the little boy standing with the penguin beside the lighthouse next to the very big ship. So together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole, he decided. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. And then they packed everything they would need. And together they pushed the rowboat out to sea. If you look carefully, you can see they've put an umbrella in the suit. They rowed for many days and many nights with the boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything that the boy said. They floated through good weather and bad and even when the waves were as big as mountains. Oh, they are so brave. Until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly, it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. 
notice the welcome to the South Pole sign. The boy said goodbye and floated away. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder and sadder. Oh dear. It felt strange to be on his own. And the more the boy thought, the more he realized he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost. The penguin was lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and headed back towards the South Pole as fast as he could. Now look closely everyone. They're going around an iceberg. The boy is going in one direction back to the South Pole and the penguin is on the umbrella. Upside down on the umbrella of course. Oh not the penguin. The umbrella is upside down. Going the opposite way. At last the boy reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, penguin, penguin, and searched. But he was nowhere to be found. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen to them except the wind and the waves. But then, the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see are you guessing? Of course he could see the penguin. They were reunited and so the boy and his friend went home together talking of wonderful things all the way and they went home safely with huge bunch of friends following along. If you like this story by Oliver Jeffers, I really recommend boys and girls out there in Storyland that you guys go to the closest public library or even your school library and check out some more of his wonderful books. Or stay tuned because there will be another video soon of me reading another Oliver Jeffers book. So bye everyone. Happy reading.